Hi, it's Josie and today I'd like to talk to you about sitting trot. I'm going to share with you the one thing that turned my sitting trot from bouncing all over the place to something that looked a little bit more elegant. It worked for me and I really hope it works for you. And then I'm also going to share with you three things you need to keep in mind when you're trying to get your sitting trot to look more elegant. If you like this video, I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, so that you can see the videos when I pop them out every Friday. And what is that one thing? Well, it's that we actively move in sitting trot. We do not sit still. Sit still on a horse is the worst piece of advice anyone can give you. We actively move on our horses, but when we move in time with them, we give the illusion that we're not actually moving and we're sitting still. So what does that mean? What it means is when the horse trots, his back goes up and forwards, up and forwards. And so we need to do that with our seat. I'll show you on the ground for those of you that are visual learners like me. Once you understand the how and the why, then you understand how you can practice it and put it all together. We'll do this off the horse and you can see how it happens with me standing on the ground. It's not quite accurate because my feet are attached to the ground here, whereas on the horse, I'm actually suspended around something that's moving, but it'll give you an idea. So remember I said the horse's back comes up and forward, up and forward, up and forward. You have to follow that with your seat. You don't just sit there, you don't sit still. So what you see, I'm going to just show you a very basic idea and then we'll get a little bit more in depth. So what your seat should be doing as the horse trots really in sit trot is forward, 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 forward. So you're sitting on and the horse's back is going up, up and forward, up and forward, up and forward. So you go from the neutral bit here. There's never any backwards in rising trot either. So it's up neutral, up forward neutral, up forward neutral. Now just to complicate it a little bit more, obviously the horse trots in diagonal pairs. So as one hind leg comes under, it'll push your bottom and your hip up and forward a little bit, and then the other one with the other leg. So it really is a little bit up forward right, up forward left, up forward. So it's it happens very quickly on the horse and sort of that is what you might need to actively do to find the rhythm on the horse. So the whole pelvis moves underneath, the upper body is stacked on top, the arms are just hanging from the shoulders and all the action happens from the waist, your belly button through, down. So the top bit should sit still. If the top bit's going, we'll get to that in a bit, but that's an actual symptom of something else going on. So all your action is from the bottom. So one hip is slightly in advance of the other hip as the diagonal pairs come through. So you can think like that to start with, but to be really accurate and when you really want to hone your skill, it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two as the horse trots. Now, as you can see, I've got a green dot on the front of my belt here. I know when I was trying to work out how people sat so beautifully in sit trot, I started watching the good riders and I'd watch their belt buckles because to me they were doing something that I wasn't able to work out. And from their belt buckle, I tried to work through how my pelvis should go. So one little exercise to help you get the feel of what your pelvis needs to do in sit trot is to get a little bit behind the vertical I don't want you to ride your sit trot like this as a general rule. This is like a, a learning thing. So sit back a little bit and you'll feel how your pelvis will move and then ask your horse just up into a little jog. And you can see what my belt buckle's doing. If I just sit there gently and allow my seat to be carried forward by him stepping through. So we do that again. up, right, left, right, left. Now remember how I said that when I was on the ground, the hips go a little bit right, left, as well as up, up. So you need to practice that in little amounts. That's to give you the feel. And then you wanna take that feeling into sit trot. 
be kind to yourself you have to practice if you don't practice you don't get anywhere so what I would do and what I did do obviously horses are easier to sit on when they're round and their back soft but I have to say when I was learning this in the very early days I didn't know how to get a horse round or soft I just wanted to practice my sit trot but you go from walk and just go up into some nice slow trot steps when you run out of balance come back down to walk don't sit there and bounce all over the place why would you teach yourself bad habits just tuck my belt loop in here sorry so i want you to watch my belt buckle and see what my hips are doing okay so i'm going to go from walk up into a nice soft trot up 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 right left right left right left right left right left so that's the one thing that helped me the most do not sit still in the saddle you might need to actively do some really horrible like this in the beginning and be like i'm really um um exaggerating that movement but if you can do that and then you find yourself actually finding the timing with the horse as well you'll know when you get it it feels good you might get one step you might get two steps and then you lose your balance go back to walk if you're if you're um falling off your horse and start again so if you're going to go sit trot from rising you're going to need to double down on it so just pick a nice slowish tempo for yourself while you're finding your balance and when you sit you might go sit 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 rise i did i actually did this sit 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 rise don't stress about your diagonals rebel is just falling on the forehand so he can just get underneath himself a bit more thank you sit 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 rise sit 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 rise and then you just make your rise progression a little bit longer I'm going to ride towards you a little bit so you can watch my belt buckle. Up, 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 up. I'll share with you the three things now that you need to try and keep in mind when you're trying to work on your sit trot seat. But I'll just link up here another video I did on seat exercises which will help you find your balance to then be able to do the sit trot, okay? three things that you need to remember when you're trying to work on this so the first of those three things i want to share with you that you need to remember when you're trying to practice your sit trot is that you need to have tone in your body so there's lots of different types of tone so you have to have the right tone in your body if you have the tone of a piece of wood think of a stick of wood this is what happens when you try to sit trot sorry rebel so you don't have stiff tone if you think about a plate of jelly I'll see if I can do this you don't have that either because you're everywhere the tone I like to think of is the tone a dancer has when they're dancing they carry their own body do they not they move with grace and elegance and they carry their own body you should be carrying your own body the entire time you're on a horse not sitting there like this but sitting and not sitting up stiff because that's what I did a lot of so nice and a tone of a dancer one of the ways you can work particularly core tone one of the ways I found to learn to find my core tone was to breathe out through pursed lips okay so if you want to get your horse trotting quietly and then breathe out So as you purse your lips and blow out through them you actually engage your core you do not want to hold your breath if you hold your breath you're actually rigid through your entire torso and you need to actually not be rigid it needs to be movable but remember most of the movement happens from the waist down so an exercise you can do is just go from being a piece of wood to a pile of jelly to a piece of wood to a pile of jelly 
and then sit up nice and tall without stretching too much it's like a, a marinette puppy you know a puppet sorry one of those puppets on a string that's what I used to think of there was a string coming from here and it was just holding me all in alignment and all of my pieces could move around on top of each other without tumbling over number two you need to have a soft leg your leg is not clamped on your horse you don't hang on with your thighs you don't hang on with your calves as much as you'd like to and I tried it trust me um, you actually have to find your balance on the horse so do those uh, balance exercises but your leg needs to be softly draped around your horse even if you take it away like this and allow it to drop back what you'll find if you take both away at once is that your pelvis settles in on the um, saddle you don't stand in your stirrup irons but you definitely have weight on them okay if you're losing your stirrups in sitting trot your stirrups are either too long or you're tensing all of your muscles here you're popping up on top of the saddle and lifting your feet out of the stirrups you can try sort of stepping a little bit in your stirrups when you're trotting left right left right left right but just be very gentle because that's actually um, stirrup stepping and that's an aid for the horse which you can learn about later but you don't want to be doing that as a general rule when you're sitting trot but it might help you just to feel the fact that you need to have some weight in your stirrups and your ankles actually flex to take some of the jolt of the um, sit trot so you should yep so my weight is in my stirrups but I'm not standing in them but I definitely have weight in them I'm sitting here and my pelvis is just going up 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 watch the belt buckle up 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 so no I'm, I don't have legs hanging on sorry Rev he doesn't like it when I bang around a bit but you can see I don't have legs hanging on the third thing is you need to have a nice upright upper body waist up you don't lean forward in rise trot we lean slightly forward to keep up with the movement of the horse if you want to look at that video I'll link that here but in sit trot we sit upright you see a lot of people sitting behind the vertical in sit trot but that's not it actually should just be sitting upright and in a lot in your whole body in alignment don't forget to breathe holding your breath makes your whole torso rigid and if you really need to find some stability in your torso breathe out gently through pursed lips sitting trot was one of the most difficult things that I found to teach myself and this to this day I still feel I could certainly improve a lot more so give yourself permission to be a beginner give yourself permission to look ugly because I'm telling you if you don't try and you don't put any work into it even just five minutes every ride you won't get any better if I can do it you can do it I promise you that but you have to do the work I hope they help you if you've got any questions put them below I'll try to answer them if I can thanks for watching